It's May 28th. Today's reading continues the Proverbs of Solomon with one topic mentioned extensively in all three chapters, the admonition against adultery and sexual impurity. Here the adulteress is described as a woman, but the application applies to both genders. Sexual sin is powerfully enticing. The adulteress is beautiful, and the desire for her beauty is strong, and the experience is thrilling. But the result of sexual sin is shame and a lifetime of pain and regret. These three chapters offer insight on how sexual sin snares us and how we can protect against it. Verse 22 of chapter 5 explains that we allow ourselves to be held captive by the desires that are internal within us, that are in our minds. Those desires that we feed by our thoughts are the ones that grow stronger. Like weeds that aren't quickly rooted out, they take root and grow strong. And the battlefield is the mind. By entertaining the temptation in our minds, desires fester, and we allow ourselves to wander and be put in compromising positions. Once there, compromise becomes an available and even desired option. The solution is to be intentional, to not even entertain such ideas in our minds. By rejecting impure thoughts outright, we don't allow them to take root. There is no weed that festers and spreads, and thus we are much less likely to allow ourselves to be put into tempting positions. We aren't as tempted to stray and wander as described in chapter 7, verses 25 and 26. A thousand years later, the Apostle Paul would describe the same idea in 2 Corinthians 10, 5 as bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and in Romans 13, 14 as make no provision for the flesh for its lusts. Walking in wisdom is not synonymous with walking in obedience to God, but walking in obedience to God shows wisdom. Both obedience and wisdom require intentional action, making deliberate choices to proactively do certain things and proactively restrict our own access to other things that could hurt us. Walking in obedience and walking in the area of sexual purity means that certain things are just off limits. It will require an intolerance of certain things. In the area of sexual purity, God wants us to walk decisively, not to wander. Here's today's application. The spiritual battle that rages requires you to engage. In the area of sexual purity, you have control over the paths you choose. Be intentional. Walk decisively. Don't wander. Here's today's prayer. 